from the WKBN First News Network, home of the High School Football Big 22 Award and best overall sports coverage in the Valley. This is the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week, sponsored by Stadium GM on Fox Youngstown. It is the picture-perfect night for football here at Falcon Stadium in Austintown, Ohio. We have reached week two of the 2019 regular season. Tonight, Ursuline and Austintown Fitch renew their rivalry, their first meeting since 2007. Hi again, everybody. Chad Prispinski alongside Brian Jones. Brooke Minahan is down on the sideline. Glad you're with us here. It will be the Ursuline Irish getting the football first. We'll get you our keys to the game here in just a bit as the Falcons will put foot into ball and momentarily we will be underway. The ball is teed up. Josiah Bernay is set to drill this one downfield and does so. It's taken at the 26 across the 30 and opening at the 35 to the outside and no more. Davon Jones on the return first and 10. Ursuline coming up. Our keys to the game are brought to you by our friends at Sheely's. First of all, grind it out. Ursuline is looking to really chew some clock here in this one and put together some time-consuming drives. Limit the big plays. Ursuline has plenty of skill position talent. Fitch looking to limit those big plays and protect the Rock, the team that wins the turnover margin, typically does win the football game. Our keys to the game brought to you by Sheely. So, first and ten for Ursuline. It is Brady Shannon operating out of the shotgun. He dumps it off to the near side. Davon Jones makes the catch, and he is going to be dropped. A loss on the play. Plenty of blue jerseys there to hem him in and bring him down there to make the stop. For Austin Town Fitch, Nate Leskovac, Ursuline's starting lineup. Offensively looks this way. Led by quarterback Brady Shannon. We'll see a lot from number three, James Phillips. Very young offensive line for the Irish. In fact, they are starting a freshman at right tackle and a sophomore at left tackle. Brady Shannon to throw, dumps it off near side. It's caught at the 40-yard line as Matthew Reardon, who doubles as a quarterback, made a nice sliding catch, Brian. Great job there. Matt Reardon comes up with a great catch. Nice uh, job there, getting him a nice, easy route. Great ball by Brady Shannon there, and it kind of gets him in momentum. That defensive unit looks this way. Joe Perez was a monster last week. Getting after the quarterback from the nose tackle position. Davon Jones for Ursuline. Times an opening. Squirts his way across the 50. And he's down to the 48-yard line. Big pickup for the Irish. It's enough for a first down. Good looking hole for Ursuline. Great job by the offensive line, creating a big hole for the runner here. And he just gets the yards needed. And they move the sticks here, first and 10. Ursuline not wasting any time. Quickly back to the line of scrimmage. Davon Jones can't haul that one in. He had a lot of real estate out in front. And he didn't look it in on that particular play, but it's still going to set up a second down and 10 situation for the Ursuline Irish. Yeah, Davon Jones gonna wish he had that one back. Uh, they had a good look there, and uh, he just has to catch it before he runs, that's for sure. Second down and 10 for the Irish. Movement up across. And jumping across for Austin Town Fitch. Don Heilman. We'll get our first call of the night. Dead ball. Infraction. Defense. Number 53. Second down. So they'll march off the penalty yardage. That one called on Tom Raider down to the sideline after this play. As they're quickly back to the line of scrimmage. The Ursuline Irish. Shannon fires incomplete off the fingertips of Reardon. And we'll send it down to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Brooke Minahan. Brooke, what do you have for us? 
Thanks, Chad. A moment of silence prior to tonight's game for former head coach Phil Anarella. The community continuing to come together following his sudden passing. The Falcons dedicating this season to him. Now head coach John Elliott stepping into his role as the head coach. And he told me this is a little too fitting for me. Coming into this, he was his assistant for 25 years. Not only that, his friend and mentor, and he knew he wanted to be a head coach, so this one's extra special. No doubt, Coach Anarella has got to be smiling following that defensive stop as a wall of blue jerseys clogged up any thought of a hole. And so it's going to be a loss on the play, fourth down and seven, and into punt is Matthew Reardon. And it looks like Todd Simons in single safety back deep to return Reardon's punt for Fitch. Clean snap. Reardon firing downfield and it is caught. Dan Reardon never shy about going to the bag of tricks. Dean Boyd wide open. And the Irish have it first down and 10. This is what you get when you have an athlete. And Reardon just makes a great play. Great call by Coach Reardon, and this is what the Fitch coaching staff was very nervous about, was Coach Reardon and his bag of tricks in the special teams department. Brady Shannon tucks it, and he is dropped. He just did get back to the line of scrimmage. You look at the size of that young man, Brady Shannon, 6'2", 208 pounds. You remarked to me before we came on the air, he looks like he's a senior, but just a sophomore. Yeah, that was uh, eye-popping to me. I came to a practice this week, and he looks like he's about 220 pounds to me. Uh, Great-looking kid. He's only a sophomore. Shannon to throw, firing right corner of the end zone, incomplete. Looking for James Phillips. You want to talk about great size, look at number three, Phillips. 6'3", 237 pounds. And that young man can pretty much do it all for Dan Reardon. He can play anywhere. He can play tight end, can play wide receiver. He's a great linebacker. He can play some D end and safety. That size creates all kinds of problems. Shannon firing, tipped and incomplete. Todd Simons got his hand on it. There in coverage, among others, Julian Johnson. Shannon looking to try to fit the ball into a tight window here, and it's a great job by getting that hand up there to deflect that ball. So it will be fourth down. Upcoming. Shannon to throw, floating right side, and then it's knocked away. That was almost six to Reardon. But it drops to the turf. We'll take a timeout and bring you back to Falcon Stadium after this. Ursuline, oh, so close to finding Pater. Falcons say no way. On the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Stop in and see the Sporty Malibu at Stadium GM in Salem. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Sam's Wedge Inn wishes both teams good luck in tonight's game. Get dinner with your family at Sam's Wedge Inn, Austintown, Ohio. Go Falcons! This is my back before surgery, and then this was it after. These things are in my back right now, helping keep it straight so I get to go back to dance with my friends. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you, Chloe. From my perspective, there is nothing that I wouldn't let you do. Really, all the credit for how well you're doing is just you and uh, how hard you've worked to get back to where you are. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to Skichetti's Ironwood Grill in Canfield. 
succulent steaks, delicious seafood, and authentic Italian dishes prepared by executive chef Tony Scaccetti. Using only the freshest ingredients and large portion sizes, Scaccetti creates a level of quality that can't be beat. Try a unique specialty dish or a Scaccetti classic dish brought back by popular demand. Enjoy your meal in the newly renovated dining area or outside on the beautiful patio. And brunch is every Sunday starting at 11 a.m. You'll never leave hungry at Scaccetti's in the Ironwood Commons, Canfield. The moment local news breaks, an alert connects you to the heart of the story. That fire tore through the roof of multiple businesses. Download the WKBN 27 First News app, keeping you connected to what really matters. Here's video that viewers sent us. You can see the flames shooting out of the roof. No matter where, no matter when. Right there actually had the roof collapse on top of the front of the car. WKBN 27, keeping you connected 24-7. Every superhero has their kryptonite. Gentlemen. <laughs> Girls. I just got the most amazing year. Mothers. I the of course. <laughs> the Big Bang Theory, five nights a week. Weeknights at 6.30 and 7.30 on Fox Youngstown. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. If there's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. And welcome back. Falcons have it. First and 10. Run play up the middle. And immediately we see some new faces in for Fitz. That's Devin Sherwood, a sophomore quarterback. Catches everybody by surprise. And he squirts his way up for nine yards at his second down and less than a yard. Of course, the starting quarterback listed and the guy who did a boatload of damage last week wears number six. That is Nate Leskovac. Starting lineup for Austin Town Fitch. Looks this way. Leskovac rushed for 244 yards and four touchdowns in the season opener. A win against Erie. C.J. Woodbury is tremendous at running back. Isaac Bethel, Kyrie Long, and Todd Simons are outstanding at wide receiver and a really good offensive line for Austin Town Fitch as well. We'll do a lot of read option. And we'll see who comes out and plays quarterback now. It looks like it will still be Devin Sherwood. Defensively, Ursuline's alignment looks this way. Coach Reardon told me earlier this week he really likes his defensive secondary. He's got Reardon back there, Davon Jones back there as well. Second down and one, line of scrimmage is the 38-yard line. Devin Sherwood looking towards the far sideline. Three wide receivers to the left. Sherwood fires left side. It is caught, hauled in by Kyrie Long. Down the sideline. Shoved out of bounds at about the 50-yard line. Big time pickup for Kyrie Long. Falcon first down. Good job here by Sherwood. Just seeing that Long is uncovered. He's giving him the ball. He's an athlete. Let him run and picks up great yards until he's pushed out of bounds. Good job by that Falcon offense. They'll officially mark it at the 48-yard line. Sherwood looking right side. He fires, and Kyrie Long makes the catch again inside the Ursuline 45 and wrestled down at the 43-yard line. So both sides up tempo, and the Falcons are hurrying up. Simons is going to wind up to the left side. Run play, Sherwood, and he pushes his way inside the 40 and down to the 38-yard line. And again, the chains will move first and 10 for Austin Town Fitch. Yeah, Devin Sherwood's showing he can do both right now. He can, he can find an open receiver, toss it out there, and he can run the ball effectively, giving Fitch, you know, a two-handed approach right now. No word on exactly where Leskovac is. Sherwood looking to throw. He steps up. He's swarmed upon and dropped. At the 41-yard line, loss of three on the play. You want to talk about defensive pressure. That's what the Irish brought right there on that play. Sherwood didn't have much of a chance at all. 
a lot of white jerseys there. Good call by that defensive staff by Ursuline. Bringing some pressure there. They get home to the quarterback, and they force a second and long here. Ryan Pagis was the first to get there, and then he had some help. Falcons will turn and give to C.J. Woodbury, and Woodbury, second effort, works his way down to the 35-yard line before he heads out of bounds. It's a pickup of four yards on the play. It'll be third down. What you're going to see here is a lot of misdirection, and that's what Austin Town predicates their offense on around. All right, so Dan Reardon knows that his defense has to read their keys, read, react, and tackle the ball tonight. If they do that, they're going to give themselves a chance on defense. They're down in seven upcoming. One play goes to Woodbury, straight up the middle. He has another first down as he pushes his way down to the 24-yard line. First and 10 Falcons, and they are not wasting any time whatsoever. Back to the line of scrimmage from the 24. Run play Woodbury. Woodbury breaking tackles, and he muscles his way down to the 16-yard line. You want to talk about tempo. They're bringing the tempo right here. Three wide receivers near side to the right. Among those wide receivers, Todd Simons. This catch is made by Tyler Evans, puts on a move, and he barrels his way inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Chad, they're simply just throwing the ball to an uncovered receiver right now, and it's working for this offense. From the seven yard line, Devin Sherwood will keep it himself. Sherwood up the middle and he's knocked down at the three yard line. Pick up of four yards on the play. It'll be second down and goal upcoming. Now that tempo has slowed up just a bit. And we'll see what John Elliott elects to go with here. On second down and goal from the three. They'll talk about it. Timeout taken with 532 left to play. First quarter. Fitch Falcons on the move of the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Get your next versatile small SUV from Stadium GM in Salem. Did you guys know that with Duncan's SIP Teal win game, you can win prizes online like free gas for a year? What's that? You can win free gas for a year. We should probably head to Duncan then. Come play Sip Peel Win at Duncan for your chance to win millions of prizes. America runs on Duncan. We are where family and friends meet. We're the happy hours, the moments in between the moments, all under one umbrella. We are the hashtags, the shares, the friend requests. We are where the trends develop. We are where life happens. We've always been what's right now, and we always will be. Because no one does it better than Eastwood Mall. Since 1984, Muscle Connection has been known as the area's workout equipment experts. Precore ellipticals. Precore treadmills. Hoist multi gyms and free weight systems. At Muscle Connection, we deliver, assemble, and service everything we sell. Muscle Connection, 6201 South Avenue, Boardman, Ohio. The Baranski Companies are proud sponsors of the Five Blocks of Granite and salute all area high school athletes throughout the year. The Stadium Used Car Superstore makes it easy for you to buy a used vehicle. We start off by giving you the finest selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs in the Valley. Then we make sure we give you the lowest prices anywhere. Like a Chevy Cruze from just $139 a month with zero down. And did you know you can shop from home? Just log on to StadiumGM.com and you'll see our entire inventory. And you can fill out your credit app right there. And if you have bad credit, we can help you get the financing you deserve. So for a great deal, come on down to the Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. Did you guys know that with Duncan's SIP Peel win game, you can win prizes online like free gas for a year? What's that? You can win free gas for a year. We should probably head to Duncan then. Come play SIP Peel win at Duncan for your chance to win millions of prizes. America runs on Duncan. 
Austin Town Fitch putting together quite a drive here in the first quarter. Sherwood gives Woodbury knocked down as he couldn't get a full head of steam. And all of a sudden, it'll be third down and goal for the Fitch Falcons. I, for the life of me, can't figure out where Nate Leskovac is. Not sure if he's injured. He was listed as the starting quarterback on the lineup sheet. But no sign of him just yet. Anytime your, your starting quarterback plays middle linebacker, there's always... There's always a case where he can get nicked up on, on defense. There's Leska back on the sideline. Sherwood up the middle, pushing his way in for a touchdown! Four-yard touchdown run up the gut. And Sherwood elected to keep it. And it's a good decision. He muscles his way across. And the Fitz Falcons draw first blood. And it's the young guy, sophomore Devin Sherwood, punching it in. Extra point try is on the way from Carlo Walters. His kick is up and his kick is good. 4.45 left to play here in quarter number one. And it's 7-0 Fitch. Brian, what did you like on that drive from the Falcons? I love the tempo, and that's exactly what Coach Elliott uh, is going to be pleased with on that drive. I love the determination of Devin Sherwood. Uh, he showed the poise to run and throw. Uh, did a nice job of mixing up the play calls, misdirection. Uh, did a great job. I think that they're giving themselves an opportunity uh, to show that they're a two-handed monster when it comes to running and throwing. This is an Austin Town Fitch team that one week ago piled up as a team 427 rushing yards. And that was a good looking drive, a time consuming drive, capped off by that four yard touchdown run by sophomore quarterback Devin Sherwood. Now the onus is on Ursulin to answer back. So back deep to return for the Irish, Julian Johnson, along with Davon Jones. The football is all teed up. Isaiah Bernay with a short pooch kick, which will hit and be picked up by Davon Jones. Jones trying to find an opening, and he's cut down right at the 30-yard line, and that is where the Ursuline Irish will have it. First down and 10 with 4 minutes and 39 seconds left to play here in the first quarter. WKBN's Big 22 includes the Five Blocks of Granite, which honors the top high school football linemen in the Valley. The Five Blocks of Granite are sponsored by the Moransky Companies and Cocos Pizza. Head to WKBN.com and click on Sports to see the top high school football players from the Valley. From the 30-yard line, Christian Armstrong trying to get a pass rush. And Armstrong helping polish things off. And there is the young man, Nate Leskovac, in there. Getting involved right from the get-go on first down from his linebacker position. See, talking to Coach uh, John DeSantis, who serves as the offensive coordinator along with Coach Reardon, he said they want to see their offensive line take a step forward tonight. And we're starting to see, you know, they're, they're struggling a little bit with this defensive front right now. A very young offensive line. I think I mentioned it earlier that there's a sophomore and a freshman starting at the tackles. Two of the other three starters played fullback last year, and so there's going to be an adjustment period, to say the least, for this young team as Coach Reardon is back. And that would be some premature movement across. As A.J. Winterburn, a little too quick. That's the one thing that's going to drive uh, a defensive dead ball. Crazy. Encroachment defense, number 25, 
still third down. So they'll march off the yardage there. 7-0, Austin Town Fitch. Chad Krispensky, Brian Jones with you. Now Brooke Manahan down to the sideline. Brady Shannon will operate with an empty backfield. Plenty of wide receivers out there for the Irish. This is incomplete. Looking in the direction of Matthew Reardon on in coverage, Lorenzo Russo of Austin Town Fitch. That'll bring up a fourth down play, and Ursuline will have to punt. This is kind of, you know, synopsis with always being in third down. You get in third down, and you're, you're forced to throw the ball, and when you're not on time and not in rhythm, you know, the ball is on the ground, and you're forced to punt, and that's not what Ursuline wants to do all night tonight, so they're going to have to make a slight adjustment here. So Reardon, who has already completed a pass on a fake punt, will kick it away to Todd Simons, who doubles as a tremendous basketball player. Battled some injuries in the summertime, but it's good to see him back out there. Now we have a delay of game called against Ursuline. Delay game, number eight, fourth down. So back the Irish up just a bit. So Reardon awaits the snap. Here it comes. And the kick is a floater, which will hit and take an Ursuline bounce inside the 35, inside the 30. And it's touched down at the 27-yard line with three minutes and two seconds left to play in quarter number one. Every week, we pick a player of the game. This is one player that has made the greatest impact during our WKBN Game of the Week. That is sponsored by Fred Martin Ford and Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. And will feature the player of the game every Monday night at 11 o'clock on WKBN 27 First News. Glad you're with us back here from Falcon Stadium. So many storylines going into this one, as Brooke alluded to it earlier. The community, the football program still mourning the loss of Phil Anarella. It was such a fixture here for so many years, and we certainly send out our best wishes and prayers for his family. Leskovac is back now in at quarterback. He breaks a tackle and then steps out of bounds. So evidently he is okay as he took that one around the far side. Leskovac, as I mentioned earlier, 244 rushing yards and four touchdowns last week. That is what you call a good night. Yeah, he does a great job here is just getting yards. Uh, you know, he had a whole lot of blockers out there in front of him. And uh, he's a heck of a ball player playing both sides of the ball right now. Falcons will keep it to the ground. This is Kyrie Long, and he didn't have anywhere to go. But he was able to pick up just enough for a first down as he crosses the 40 to the 41-yard line. Falcons getting just enough to keep this drive alive. And that's all you're looking to do is just move the chains. You know, take time off that clock. And, and that's what Coach Elliott told me in pregame. He said, we just want to take the ball, play our style offense, and when we have it, we want to put points on the board. They already have seven. Leskovac dumps it off to the left side. Incomplete. Little bit too tall for Kyrie Long. And it'll bring up a second down. And 10 situation for Fitch. Todd Simons has really emerged in his career as the go-to wide receiver. You look at the great size that he has. And he creates so many matchup problems, all of his basketball skill as well. Falcons run it straight up the middle. It's a first down, or at least darn close to it. On the carry, Tyree Mitchell. 
Well, we'll see if they'll measure or if they'll eyeball it and say move the chains. And the first thing we notice about this this clip here is that the offensive line is just owning the line of scrimmage right now. There was a, a gaping hole there and you know he didn't get touched till he's about eight yards downfield. Mitchell carried the ball 14 times for 50 yards and a touchdown last week and that road win against Erie High School. So they bring the chains out. There you get a look at all those massive offensive linemen. They'll stretch the chains across and first down Austin down Fitch. The coach Elliott when I talked to him he couldn't say enough about that offensive line he said look they did great with in-game adjustments and it worked and the team scored a lot of points sounds simple and it worked like a charm Leskovac will keep it himself and Leskovac bounces it to the outside still on his feet breaking tackles first down as he's inside the 40 and ridden down at the 39 Fitch on the move again. Leskovac running with reckless abandon. He is a tough ball player. He's showing you here a great fake, and then he just runs through a lot of tackles. There you go. You got two guys that miss there. One he runs through right there. He does a great job. First down and 10 from the 39 yard line. Three wide receiver set for the Falcons. Mitchell is the running back. He takes the handoff, tries the left side. Kept the legs moving, and he picked up a couple. Working up second down and eight. Chad, pick your poison. You can put Devin Sherwood back there. You can put Nate Leskovac. And they look like the same guy. Equal type of output, that's for sure. Very successful in this first quarter. But Coach Elliott had so much praise for Leskovac who keeps it himself. Leskovac has it, 30, gets a block, and falls forward inside the 25, down to the 23-yard line. First and 10 for Austin Townsend as Leskovac continues to pile up the yardage. One thing that Coach Elias said is he tries not to coach Leskovac. He just has a knack for finding these holes on his own. He doesn't say too much to him. He just has a knack with the ball in his hands. And sometimes that's the best coaching. Just let the kid do his thing. He finds that hole and then turns on the speed burners when he breaks a tackle. Leskovac didn't find much of a hole that time. He did pick up a little bit of positive yardage, but it was a swarm of Ursuline Irish defenders there to make sure that nothing happened too extreme. James Phillips was among those to help polish things off at the tail end, at least in the vicinity, that is. Now we see Devin Sherwood coming back in. And we're not going to have another play until it's quarter number two. One quarter in the books here at Falcon Stadium. We head to the second quarter with your score. Austin Town Fitch, seven. Ursula, nothing. Of the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Check out the all-new GMC Sierra at Stadium GM in Salem. Attention football fans, order Coca's Pizza tailgate package for only $49.99. You'll receive 24 slices of our delicious cheese pizza, 20 jumbo wings, and two of Coca's famous footlong pepperoni rolls. Coca's Pizza, we serve it hot. I'm a busy lady. I, you know, have a family. I have a business. I just make my time in the morning or go in the afternoon. You have to make time to for yourself. I had no mobility in my foot, so now I have mobility in my foot and I have more stability, like balance-wise and just health-wise. They do keep you on track and they do help you with nutrition and they help you with the issues you're having. 100% uh, better, yeah. Get fit today for a better tomorrow. Fitness together, come be our next success story. Welcome home. The best things in life happen at home. And the best place to furnish your life is at Sheely's. I'm glad we got the bigger home. 
with the widest selection of styles and savings. You're home, little one. Because at Sheely's, we know it's the moments we spend together that change us forever. Look who's home. <laughs> Sheely's, the best things in life happen at home. All of us here at Fred Martin Ford are excited that it's football season. And once again, we're going to crush the competition. After all, our record speaks for itself. President's award winner, number one in the region with Ford SUV sales, an award-winning service department, and the number one special finance team. And we are your best defense against high prices. You too can be a winner when you team up with Fred Martin Ford because we sell for less, a lot less. Stay up to date with the latest news and weather. Download the free WKBN 27 News app today. Enable push notifications to get news alerts sent to your phone. Attention football fans. Order Coca's Pizza tailgate package for only $49.99. You'll receive 24 slices of our delicious cheese pizza, 20 jumbo wings, and two of Coca's famous foot-long pepperoni rolls. Coca's Pizza, we serve it hot. And welcome back to Falcon Stadium. All set for the second quarter. 7-0 Fitch leading Ursuline. Chad Krispinski, Brian Jones with you. Brooke Minahan on the sideline. Devin Sherwood takes the snap, dumps it off right side. Catch is made by Kyrie Long, but not for Long. As Julian Johnson came up to make the tackle immediately. Great tackle there by Julian Johnson. He read it right away. He was inside out. And it was a sure tackle by Johnson. That'll bring up a third down and 11 play. That's a good looking tackle by Johnson. Coach Reardon again really likes his defensive secondary. Sherwood takes the snap and now rolls to the near side, fires on the run. It's caught inside the 15 down to the 14 yard line and austin town fitch has reached the bellaria red zone they shall taste one bite at a time great roll out here going to his non-dominant side and he just finds a wide open flat route here to long and finds good yards and sets him up for a manageable fourth down so it will be fourth down and two they mark the ball at the 15-yard line. Devin Sherwood looks across the way. And we have a whistle and an Ursuline timeout taken with 10.40 left to play here until halftime. So a big play coming up. Speaking of big, we have our WKBN Big 22. The area's best football players are all part of WKBN's Big 22, sponsored by Eastern Gateway Community College and the Curbstone Coaches. Head to WKBN.com and click on sports to see the top high school football players from here in the Valley. The Ursuline Irish back under the tutelage of Dan Reardon. Of course, he spent, I think he told me, seven years away. He was in Colorado. He was at Canton McKinley. In fact, we saw the season opener of Canton McKinley and Warren Harding a couple of years ago. All the years start to blend together, but boy, he pulled out the bag of tricks that night for the Bulldogs and was tremendous and his son had a good game as well he's thrilled to be back here at Ursuline High School and back here in the valley a great football area fourth down and two upcoming back in there is Nate Leskovac Leskovac fakes the hand up puts his head down puts on a move he's to the five four three two one touchdown and Nate Leskovac does it again this kid just has what it takes to play the quarterback position here in this offense. Great read and it's just misdirection. And it catches this Ursula Irish defense off guard. And he, Chad, he's just running through tackles again. Leskovac, great balance. He has that great awareness. Finds the hole and then he turns on those speed burners. Carlo Walters on to attempt the extra point. For Fitch, 
Snap back, ball down, kick up, and the kick is good. 10.33 left to play here in the first half. Austin Town fits 14. First one, nothing on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. See the SUV that checks all the boxes at Stadium GM in Salem. Did you guys know that with Duncan's Sip Peel win game, you can win prizes online like free gas for a year? What's that? You can win free gas for a year. We should probably head to Duncan then. Come play Sip Peel win at Duncan for your chance to win millions of prizes. America runs on Duncan. Sam's Wedge Inn wishes both teams good luck in tonight's game. Get dinner with your family at Sam's Wedge Inn, Austintown, Ohio. Go Falcons! Hi, Rob Feldman for Boardman Subaru, home of the safest, most award-winning vehicles on the road today. Every Subaru has achieved the highest IIHS safety rating, and Kelly Blue Book says Subaru is the best mainstream brand and has the highest resale value. This month, you can buy an Outback with 0% interest, or you can lease for just $249 a month. And remember, Subaru is the most fuel-efficient all-wheel-drive vehicle in America. That's only at Boardman Subaru, just south of Route 224 on South Avenue. Hello, my name is Jimmy Bruce. I'm president of Eastern Gateway Community College. Eastern Gateway has over 50 programs between our campuses in Steubenville and Youngstown, and over 20 programs that can be done fully online. We offer a quality educational experience that prepares you to enter the workforce or to transfer to a four-year university. Most of all, EGCC is the most affordable option in our region. Enroll at Eastern Gateway and experience college the way it should be, affordable, practical, and fun. Before you plan for today, tomorrow, the weekend, turn to Storm Team 27 using the most advanced technology with the largest team of meteorologists before weather changes from sunny to serious. Be prepared with Storm Team 27. Did you guys know that with Duncan's Sip Peel win game, you can win prizes online like free gas for a year? What's that? You can win free gas for a year. We should probably head to Duncan then. Come play Sip Peel win at Duncan for your chance to win millions of prizes. America runs on Duncan. Welcome back to Falcon Stadium in Austintown, Ohio. Austintown fits 14, Ursula nothing. 10.33 to play here in the first half. Josiah Bernai with the ball teed up for the Falcons. Julian Johnson is deep. He won't get a chance. It's a kickoff that will trickle out of bounds to the near sideline. And the penalty markers come out, and so... Ursuline will have its next offensive opportunity. First down and 10. As we'll sort the penalty yardage out. Kick out of bounds. Five yards. Three kick. So they'll kick it again. With as many athletes and all that skill that Ursuline sports. Why not take another crack at it now? It'll be James Phillips back deep along with Julian Johnson. So many times you'll see coaches kick away from very dangerous skill people. Looks like that's probably the case here. Yeah, what you're seeing here is uh, a little pooch kick, and they're not trying to kick it deep. They don't want those deep guys to get their hands on this ball, and they're trying to run their coverage down there so they can get a sure tackle before those guys can can get away. So it, it's a it's a great. Great strategy here, and I know Steve Zielinski, who coordinates special teams for Fitz, will talk to me a little bit about that this week, and that was definitely in the game plan, and, and uh, they're executing that pretty well right now. So Bernay with another chance. Phillips hoping for a chance as well. Just went a little deeper. This is Phillips. He's across the 30, trying to find an opening, and he's cut down. A loose ball on the field. Chris Scott made the tackle. 
the ground forced the fumble, so it sure looked like it was pretty clear cut. And the officials say, look, there was a tackle made. The ball scored it out. We'll get another look at it here. Can't say enough about that great tackle. Yep, good call by our officials here. Yeah, definitely down there. Elbows down and... You know, in real time, those are so hard to make. Those officials have such a tough job, and I'll tell you what, a lot of crews around the area, they do such a good job, and they don't get a lot of love for it. But uh, good call there on the field. Yeah, hats off to our area officials. They do a great job. They take a lot of grief, too, but they deserve a lot of credit. Pass play, deep downfield, 35, 30, and down inside the 25. Loose football, but the ground caused the fumble. Once again, Zach Simon streaking down the field all alone. He was wide open, and it doesn't get much better than that pass from Brady Shannon. Now that was an absolute strike. It looked like a little busted coverage in a secondary. Nonetheless, exactly the shot in the arm the Ursul Irish offense needed at this juncture in the football game. Tell you what, that I'm, may have come out. I'm not so sure about that one. Brady Shannon back to throw, looking to the near side. He completes the pass to Reardon. Reardon finds an opening. 10, 5, towards the pylon. Touchdown! 22-yard touchdown pass. Brady Shannon to Matthew Reardon. Irish right back into it. Excellent call here by John DeSantis, the offensive coordinator. Great ball. They go to a tunnel screen here to Reardon. He takes it, gets back outside, exactly what he was coached to do this week in practice. Gets to the pylon, and great job by that Ursuline Irish offense. So now the extra point coming from that young lady, Taylor Tomlinson. So for the extra point, snap is back, ball is down, kick is up, and the kick is good. What a shot in the arm. 22-yard touchdown pass to Matthew Reardon. A Taylor Tomlinson blasts that one right through the poles. And number 42 makes it a 14-7 football game. We'll go down to the sideline. Here is Brooke Minahan with more on Taylor. Just saw that extra point from Taylor Thompson. She's a soccer player for the Irish. Just came out for the football team this year. But this was an ongoing process. They talked to her about it her freshman year coming in. She told me she came from a small middle school and she kind of wanted to ease into the process of high school at Ursuline. So coming in, it's junior year. She thought about heading out to the football team tryout and she was all about it. And players kind of gave her a hard time, and she kind of backed out a little bit. Come senior year, coaches kind of encouraged her again to try it out, see what happens. And the players, especially the seniors and Matt Reardon, could not be more welcoming to her. She's loving being a female on the team and being a kicker and giving other girls in her position someone to look up to. No doubt. She cut the deficit to 7, 14-7. We just knew it was a matter of time before the Irish were going to put something together on the offensive side. But boy, did they do that. 22-yard touchdown pass. Brady Shannon to Matthew Reardon. Ensuing kickoff. Taken across the 10 to the 15 to the 20. Across the 20 to the 23-yard line. And on the return, Tyler Evans. On the play, the Irish and it'll be first down and 10. Well, the Fitch Falcons now. We've got ourselves a ball game here with 10.02 left to play. In this first half, Chad Krispinski, Brian Jones with you. Glad you're with us here in week two of the high school football regular season. Mother Nature smiling on us once again. So now let's have a look-see at who's coming out to play quarterback. So we've kind of shuffled some things back and forth. Devin Sherwood is back out there with one back in the backfield. 
Sherwood looking to the near side, dumps it off. Kyrie Long makes the grab and then is tackled. Phillips there to make the stop. And also Julian Johnson there helping out on the tackle as well. I sense a little bit of a life uh, breathed into this Ursuline football team right now. That's that that score, you know, change change their sideline, change their approach a little bit. So let's see if they're able to feed off of this. Run play to the right side, not much doing there. Maybe a yard on the play as Woodbury trying to find an opening and use that great speed of his. But the Irish said, not this time. Critical play here, third down. We call this money down. If you've got to get off the field here. Sherwood rolling, throwing on the run. What a catch and what a hit along that far sideline. Delivered by Davon Jones, short of the first down. And it'll bring up fourth down and short upcoming. And Sherwood has shown a good ability to throw on the run. Short, high percentage completions. Kyrie Long made that catch. And now it's punt time for Nate Leskovac and company. Back deep to return, Matthew Reardon for the Irish. Leskovac takes the snap. It's away, a line drive kick. It will hit and be picked up by Reardon across the 30. Reardon to the near side, trying to reverse his tracks, puts on a move, and he is dropped. There to make the stop on special teams, Jameer Robinson. 8-13 to play first half, 14-7 pitch, leading Ursuline on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Buick Encore, luxury with a purpose at Stadium GM in Salem. You've heard the name, but who are the Curbstone Coaches? Organized by members of the local sports media, we work to preserve the memory of athletes who have brought distinction to the community since 1958. Curbstone Coaches, paying tribute to local athletes for 60 years. The Stadium Used Car Superstore makes it easy for you to buy a used vehicle. We start off by giving you the finest selection of pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs in the Valley. Then we make sure we give you the lowest prices anywhere. Like a Chevy Cruze from just $139 a month with zero down. And did you know you can shop from home? Just log on to StadiumGM.com and you'll see our entire inventory. And you can fill out your credit app right there. And if you have bad credit, we can help you get the financing you deserve. So for a great deal, come on down to the Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. Since 1984, Muscle Connection has been known as the area's workout equipment experts. Precore ellipticals. Precore treadmills. Hoist multi gyms and free weight systems. At Muscle Connection, we deliver, assemble, and service everything we sell. Muscle Connection, 6201 South Avenue, Boardman, Ohio. Get major local news from where you live an hour earlier. The information you need to know first. Watch First News every night at 10 on Fox Youngstown. You've heard the name, but who are the Curbstone Coaches? Organized by members of the local sports media, we work to preserve the memory of athletes who have brought distinction to the community since 1958. Curbstone Coaches, paying tribute to local athletes for 60 years. First down at 10, Brady Shannon for Ursland looking to throw downfield, and it is almost intercepted. Pass was intended for Matthew Reardon. Back in coverage, Chris Scott, who looked like he had a beat on it. It's almost like Reardon started playing defensive back on that play. And that's exactly what the coach do as a receiver there. He throws it off his back foot. It's a little underthrown, and at that point, it's exactly what he does. It's not that ball. Play defensive back and don't let him intercept the ball. Great play by Matt Reardon. Second down and 10 from the 28. Shannon to throw. Zings it down there. 
Incomplete intended for Julian Johnson. Boy, he's got a strong arm, does Brady Shannon. He does, Chad, and it comes out of his arm very tight. He throws it very tight, and it gets there pretty quick. And, uh, you know, he's got a great future. A lot of times you'll say when a player is a sophomore, he'll grow into it. Boy, he's a big kid now. He's going to get bigger and bigger and stronger. Great athlete is Brady Shannon, more of a stereotypical pocket yeah. passer. Matthew Reardon sometimes comes in as a timeout has been taken. He'll play Reardon at quarterback, and he's more of a kind of a running quarterback, a, a dual threat. Shannon, more of your prototypical pocket passer. Sure, he's able to stand a little bit taller in there, about 6'2", 6 6'3". 6 um, you know, he's got that prototypical body. Um, I think uh, his ball comes out very nicely, and he's going to learn. He, he's just a pup. You know, he, he's only a sophomore. He played a lot of games as a freshman, and uh, he's going to be one that you're going to continue to hear about in the next two years. There are his numbers there. 83 yards, and that touchdown pass. And again, he's doing this with an offensive line that is filled with youth. And as you get some experience up front, you have maybe a little more time to throw. Yeah. You can kind of move around there and step up in that pocket, knowing you're not going to get hit and do some more damage. Say, so watch for the Duncan run of the week. It comes your way every Friday night at 11 o'clock on WKBN 27. Third down and 10, Brady Shannon to throw. He fires left side, and it's caught. Matthew Reardon at the 42 with a leaping catch for a first down, and Reardon, boy, it doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, Brady Shannon does a great job of getting a, an errant snap. Comes up, throws a great ball, and he's showing he's the jack of all trades out there. Gets up there and gets that ball, keeps them on the drive, first down and 10. Brady Shannon looking to throw, firing complete, middle of the field, haul in by James Phillips, and it's another first down. James Phillips, a huge target and a force on both sides of the ball. Didn't get a lot of touches with the ball last week, but again, just his presence on the field is a threat enough. Of course, he's verbally committed to Western Michigan, and he's thrilled to be going to play in the MAC. You know, Chad, I was standing next to him in pregame. He is a man. You know, he makes me look like a, a you know, a, a third grader out there. And you and me both. So Shannon, all alone in the backfield, looking to throw. He's flushed from the pocket, breaks a tackle. Shannon spun down. Lorenzo Russo there for the sack. He was not letting go that last chance to make the stop. So he's surveying the defense. Nothing there. At this point, you just got to get out of the pocket and throw the ball away if you can. But that relentless pursuit got to him. Some players will whiff on a sack attempt, and they stay down. He got right back up and made the tackle. Yeah. Second down and 13, Brady Shannon floating, wounded duck, downfield, and it is intercepted by Isaac Bethel. Bethel with the pick. I'm not sure if Shannon's arm got hit here or if it was tipped or if he rushed it. It may have just rushed it a bit. Looks like it was rushed a little bit, and uh, sometimes when you float one out there, it's never good news for the offense. With well, a big defensive stop coming by way of the interception, courtesy of Isaac Bethel. Just like that, that Falcons offensive unit comes back out, led by sophomore Devin Sherwood. So the Falcons are going to send out three wide receivers far side to the right. One back is in the backfield. That is C.J. Woodbury. And the give is to Woodbury, who stutter steps his way, puts the head down, muscles across the 25, east to the 27-yard line for a gain of three yards. 
Woodbury went over the 100-yard mark last week. 101 yards and a trip to the end zone for that young man. Sherwood sweeping the right side, trying to cut it back inside, spins off. He's across the 30 and pushes his way to the 32-yard line. Couldn't quite get it to the outside, but kind of spun his way free and picked up a couple more. Yeah, it's a good, good quarterback run there. Just, they're trying to get it to the outside here. Urson did a good job of forcing him back inside where all the defense is coming from. But it brings up a third down, but very manageable at third and one. The line of scrimmage is the 33-yard line back in there. Nate Leskovac. Leskovac will keep it himself. Puts that head down. And Leskovac, see where they give him forward progress. Looks like he'll have enough. So the 35 it is. A first down. We'll get another look at it here. Where that forward progress is ahead to. Yeah, definitely, definitely has the yardage there for the first down. I don't think there's any question about that. You know. Inside of five minutes to play here until halftime. 14-7, Fitz leading Ursuline. Leskovac. Squirts his way across the 40. He's ahead to the 42-yard line. That's a gain of six yards. Just a rhythm now for Austin Town Fitch. It's been that way from really their first offensive play. They get the play call in and right back to the line of scrimmage with three wide receivers near side to the left. And Chad, they're not doing anything exotic. You're seeing a lot of the same plays repeated over and over, and uh, they're comfortable in their system. Leskovac sweeping the right side. Leskovac breaks one tackle and falls forward, and he has another Falcons first down. And that is another Falcons first down. You know, keeping the ball in the hands of number six and, and being very... You know, very cautious with the ball, and, and why not? When you have guys like Devin Sherwood and Nate Leskovac, you know, I would do the same thing. First down and 10 from the 47-yard line. Run play goes to Woodbury, and Woodbury is stacked up. James Phillips, among others, there to make the tackle. As there was no hole to run through that time. Good penetration here by that front from the Ursula Irish defense. They're starting to mix up, you know, their stunts up there because they're going to have to in order to stop that quarterback run game and force Fitch to try to throw something down the field, do something different. Yeah, the Falcons keep it to the ground. It's Woodbury again, and he's thrown into the far sideline as he reaches the 50, or does he? And it'll bring up a third down play. I think the Fitch fans may be looking for a little bit of a late hit, perhaps. I'm not sure. Especially when it happens on your sideline. You know, you definitely want that call. Or you, you're at least going to ask for it. Let's see. It was awfully close to that sideline. Uh, usually when that contact happens on the field. There's Leskovac. He pushes his way inside the 50 to the 49-yard line, and that'll bring up a fourth down play now. James Phillips active here on the defensive side here in the first half especially. Let's see what they choose to do, but, I, you know, that was a must-stop for that Ursuline defense there. They had to get off the field because this defense is playing a number of snaps here in this first half, and, you know, you start to worry about attrition here. Because, you know, we haven't even reached halftime yet. It's something that Dan Reardon said he wanted to do is he said he wanted to sustain some drives and keep that defense fresh. Leskovac awaits the snap. And this is a wobbly kick, which will hit at the 10. And it'll be touched down at the 12-yard line with 2 minutes, 12 seconds left to play. 
In this first half, Austin Town Fitch 14, Ursland 7. Here in week two of the 2019 high school football. Regular season. And again, with the way that Fitch started, going right down the field, making a, an offensive drive look very easy. You look at the scoreboard here at halftime, or right near it. This is still anybody's game, and Ursuline's been able to get some things going on the offensive side as you look at the numbers for both sides. They're just done two different ways, you know. Fitch has been methodical on the drives, and Ursuline's yards have been picked up in chunks. Brady Shannon is the quarterback. He's looking to throw, steps up, loses the football. There's a scrum for it, but he was able to pounce on it. So the Irish dodge a big time bullet. Let's see who that was that got that football to squirt on free. It looks like it was Joe Perez. The nose tackle there that just didn't make contact with Shannon. Yeah. That's a great play, too. If you're not going to get to the quarterback, get your arm out, try to get that ball loose, and that's exactly what he did. His his coach is going to uh, get him a pat on the back for that one. Shannon back to throw, dumps it off, and it's incomplete. I'll tell you what, Davon Jones, if he makes that catch with what his thought process was, cutting it back towards the middle, could have made something big time happen there, but you got to haul it in first. Could be a lot of real estate here if he hauls it in first, just like you said, Chad. So we have a timeout. Down on the turf with 127 left to play. Christian Armstrong is shaken up, and he's being escorted off the field towards the far sideline. Armstrong. Such an integral part of what this Austin Town Fitch team does. He's the lone two-time letter winner here for the Falcons. He's a team captain and an absolute treat to be able to talk to and, and visit with. It was so close with Coach Anarello when he took the field every day for practice. He said he always said to Coach Anarello, Said it's a beautiful day for football, and Coach Anarello would always tell him every day is a beautiful day for football. That's a tremendous story. Third down and 18. Brady Shannon to throw. He's thrilled, and the football is loose. Falcons pounce on it. Brady Shannon took a wicked lick on that play, and they'll say it's an incomplete pass. We'll take a look at it here. And what you have here is a free rusher. That was Nate Leskovac. And I'll tell you what, that was a fumble. There's no doubt about that. And Urson comes away with the ball here. But Nate Leskovac comes unabated to the quarterback. And you see the whiplash that Brady Shannon takes right to the back. Knocking the ball free, reared into putt from the back end of his own end zone. Todd Simons in single safety as the kick is away. It's a floater, and Simons muffs it. It's loose, and who has it? They'll try to uncover things, and it'll belong to who? It'll belong to Austin Town Fitch. Ursuline is saying it should be Irish football. Take a look here. The officials will converse. I'm not so sure what the deal is here, Brian. I'm not sure either from the replay. It was hard to depict who came away with the ball underneath that pile. The Ursuline coaches are convinced it should be Ursuline football. Here's another look at it from a different angle. Maybe they just say Simons has it there, but it's two guys fighting for it. Wow. That one will be talked about for a while. 56 seconds left. Back out comes Austin Town Fitch's offensive group. 
Sherwood looking to the right side. It is caught inside the 40. Down to the 38-yard line. Scrapping, scratching, clawing, fighting for yardage is Tyler Evans. It's a great ball and catch there. Tyler Evans does a great job. And Ursula uh, you know, needs to move on to the next play. I know Coach Rearing is, is pretty heated on his sideline. But they need to close this half out. Sherwood firing downfield. Davon Jones with great coverage to knock that one down incomplete. Pass intended again for Tyler Evans. And we're down to 26 seconds left. In the second quarter. And it'll be third down and six. Sherwood rolling near side, firing on the run. Simons makes the catch, and Simons is out of bounds at the 31 yard line. It's a first down for Austin Town Fitch. We're down to 19 seconds left. It's a great play here, rolling out to his left, finding the long, lanky receiver, and he makes a move. Definitely don't want to go into the field there. Does a great job catching, getting out of bounds, conserving some time. Very athletic family. Todd Simons, great football player, great basketball player. His sister, Laney Simons, softball player, great volleyball player as well. Fitch with the football. Falcons keep it to the ground. It's a run play to the near side. And on the carry, it was Tyree Mitchell. Right to 14 seconds left. Second down. You know, you're looking at the kicker's range is about 30 to 35 yards. Talking to Coach Zelensky. Sherwood rolling right side, pumping once. He'll float it downfield, and the catch is made inside the 15-yard line. Once again, Todd Simons hauls it in with six seconds left. And again, great clock management by Fitch. Sherwood waited till the last possible second, and then Simons got an extra yard or two, and then made sure he went out of bounds. So six seconds left. At this stage of the game, what do you do as Fitch has reached the Bellaria red zone? Bellaria, they sell taste one bite at a time. The line of scrimmage now is the 14-yard line. So you're looking like you're in field goal range now. Last week, Carlo Walters, the place kicker, did boot a field goal. And he also kicked five extra points. So he's plenty capable. But it looks like the offense is going to come out. In the backfield, it's Tyree Mitchell. Devin Sherwood takes the snap. He'll float it. Right side and zone caught. Touchdown. What a catch on the fade for Todd Simons. Great call here by Coach Elliott. Sends the offense back out. Sherwood takes the snap. He's going to throw the fade to the X. Todd Simons stands tall, puts the ball right on the money. And there you go with one second left. Picture perfect clock management. And Todd Simons hauls it in. Extra point try coming from Carlo Walter. Snap back, ball down, kick up. And the kick is good. Just like that, Austin Town Fitch has increased the lead to 21 7 on a picture perfect touchdown pass from Devin Sherwood to Todd Simons. One second remaining here. And again, you go back to the controversial play on that punt which it appeared could have potentially been recovered by Ursuline. The officials rolled away a Boston Town Fitch. And again, both players had it, so it's almost like either way you go, someone's going to be upset. 
Not saying it was right or wrong, but that changed the complexion of the scoreboard now. Absolutely. I would, you know, obviously, everybody in the stadium, and certainly on the Urson side, wants an explanation to how that determination was made, but uh, we all don't get one, so you move on. And But Fitch made the most of their opportunity, and uh, that two-minute drive was was uh, to perfection. And uh, I was here at practice yesterday, and they, they practiced it, and uh, it, it was uh, it looked just like it did yesterday in practice, and it was on air. So, you know, Coach uh, Elliott's going to be very proud of his team. Josiah Bernay. A little squib kick, which will roll out of bounds. Clock won't start, of course. So now we'll have a discussion and they'll kick it again. The Irish are huddling up along their near sideline. Kick out of bounds. The penalty will be enforced at the end of the kick. First down. All right, so we will not kick again. Penalty was accepted, and so they're going to mark the ball. At the end of the kick, it will have to check out where that ball will be set down. It'll be the 48-yard line of Ursuline. Brady Shannon does have a very strong arm. In the backfield joining him is Davon Jones. So Hail Mary time or some sort of trick play. If there's anything left, now they walk the ball back. They have a little too much. So the line of scrimmage is the 43-yard line of Ursuline. Brady Shannon under duress, trying to dump it up, does so. Davon Jones, 45-50, 45-40. Davon Jones turns on the speed burners. Jones cut down at the 30-yard line. He's electric and almost broke that one all the way to the house. So very entertaining first half of football here at Falcon Stadium. Your halftime score, Austin Town Fitch, 21, Ursland 7. And we'll bring you back to Falcon Stadium after this on the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. Arrive in style with the Cadillac XT5 at Stadium GM in Salem. For the best pizza downtown, visit Avalon Downtown Pizzeria. Closed on Sundays, but call ahead and order a take and bake pizza for the next big game. Free local deliveries downtown and call ahead for other delivery options. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria on Federal Street. Welcome home. The best things in life happen at home. And the best place to furnish your life is at Sheely's. I'm glad we got the bigger home. With the widest selection of styles and savings. You're home, little one. Because at Sheely's, we know it's the moments we spend together that change us forever. Look who's home. <laughs> Sheely's. The best things in life happen at home. Inner Circle Pizza Canfield. Come see why it's much, much more than a pizzeria. The 42-seat granite bar and eight HD TVs make this the best seat in the house to watch your favorite sporting events. The casual setting is perfect for family meals and get-togethers. Enjoy all the original icy favorites plus specialty pizzas, sandwiches, salads, and daily specials. Dine in or carry out. Inner Circle Pizza Canfield, where food and fun are endless. Ironwood Boulevard, across from the Hampton Inn. Tight Seal Glass Block wishes both teams good luck in tonight's game. Tight Seal Glass Block on North State Street in Girard. Pre-owned vehicles are less. 
a lot less at Fred Martin Ford, but you get a whole lot more. More choices with hundreds of pre-owned vehicles in every price range. More warranty. Most units are covered for 12 months or 12,000 miles. And certified models are covered for 7 years and 100,000 miles. Keep more money in your pocket with interest rates as low as 1.99% for 60 months. Buy with confidence at Fred Martin Ford where we sell for less, a lot less. For the best pizza downtown, visit Avalon Downtown Pizzeria. Closed on Sundays, but call ahead and order a take and bake pizza for the next big game. Free local deliveries downtown and call ahead for other delivery options. Avalon Downtown Pizzeria on Federal Street. Austin Town pitch 21, Ursuline 7. We'll go down to the sideline. Brooke Manahan standing by with pitch head coach John Elliott. Brooke. Coach, you told me you liked what you saw offensively early on from your team. What changed later? Uh, I think Ursula made some adjustments, and, you know, there were things we knew about. So we have to go back in and make some adjustments with our line. I think we'll be all right. What kind of adjustments are you looking at? Uh, just some blocking things, not really changing anything, just kind of making sure going over some rules and stuff and making sure the kids are doing what they're supposed to do. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brooke. Chad Krispensky, Brian Jones back up with you in the booth. Let's take a look back at our keys to the game, which are brought to you by Sheely's. It all starts with grinding it out. At different times, we saw both sides do so, putting together some nice, time-consuming drives. Limit the big plays. Both sides have done that for the most part. We have seen a little bit in terms of big play capability and protect the rock. That costly interception there by Ursuline that led to a touchdown in that first half. Our keys to the game are brought to you by our friends at Sheely's. We have reached halftime here in Austin Town. Your halftime score, Austin Town pitch 21, Ursuline 7. Our halftime festivities will continue when we come back. You're watching the WKBN High School Football Game of the Week. This halftime report is sponsored by the Muscle Connection. Attention football fans, order Coca's Pizza tailgate package for only $49.99. You'll receive 24 slices of our delicious cheese pizza, 20 jumbo wings, and two of Coca's famous footlong pepperoni rolls. Coca's Pizza, we serve it hot. It's game time at your winning team. Taylor, Taylor Automotive. Kick off into savings when you shop any Taylor Automotive location. It's time for Taylor. Taylor Kia of Boardman and Taylor Kia of Hermitage. Taylor Chevrolet of Hermitage. Taylor Toyota of Hermitage. Best prices, biggest selection, easy financing, and largest trade allowances. It's time for Taylor. It's game time at your winning team. Taylor. Taylor Automotive. The Moransky Companies are proud sponsors of the Five Blocks of Granite and salute all area high school athletes throughout the year. Choices are better than ever at Diane Sauer Chevrolet. Come see our huge inventory of used and certified pre-owned vehicles. With cars ranging from $1,500 to $30,000, we have the right vehicle for you and your budget. Certified vehicles come with a 12-month, 12,000-mile 12 warranty for peace of mind. And as always, 88 Down delivers any vehicle in stock. Stop by today just west of the Eastwood Mall on Route 422 or online at DianeSauerChevy.com. MyValleyTributes.com pays homage to area loved ones who are no longer with us. For calling hours and more information, go to MyValleyTributes.com. Attention football fans, order Coca's Pizza tailgate package for only $49.99. You'll receive 24 slices of our delicious cheese pizza, 20 jumbo wings, and two of Coca's famous footlong pepperoni rolls. Coca's Pizza, we serve it hot. And welcome back to Falcon Stadium. We're here at halftime. It is Austin Town Fitch, 21, and the Ursuline Irish, 7. Hi again, everybody. Chad Prispinski, so pleased to be joined once again by Brian Jones. As it's time for our MCC, TC, and Muscle Connection halftime report. And Brian, what stood out to you about the young Fitch quarterback 
That would be Devin Sherwood, and boy, he made some things happen in a surprise start here this evening. Yeah, his, his balls are on the money. Uh, he's doing a good job of running the ball, and he had a heck of a job here on the, on the rollout, just finding his guy here in the two-minute drill, and then he had the, the knockout punch at the end of the half. It was the most impressive throw of the night to me right here. Just getting the ball out and getting it in the end zone to put to put him up 21 points. Or I'm sorry, 14 points going into half. Our halftime report brought to you by MCCTC and Muscle Connection. Halftime numbers look this way. And again, Austin Town Fitch grinding those things out, putting long drives together. Ursuline was able to put some things together with the touchdown pass. But again, that costly interception in the first half thwarted a potential second scoring drive. You take a look at the young quarterback, Brady Shannon, and what he's been able to do. He's very accurate, great strong arm, and he looked good here. The completion to Simon. What else did you like about this young man? Well, he has pocket presence. He has a great ball, and when he has time, he's accurate, and he can make every throw in the field, and that's what's important. Davon Jones very nearly on the final play of that first half, very nearly broke it for an even bigger one. But speaking of big ones, Matthew Reardon hauled that one in and was able to touch that pylon for the touchdown. Look at Sherwood's numbers, 11 for 12, 76 yards of the touchdown. Shannon with one touchdown and the one pick as well. We knew we would see a steady diet of Nate Leskovac throughout the course of this ball game here tonight and the Fitch Falcons did not disappoint Leskovec did not start at quarterback Sherwood got the nod but Leskovec when he got in there really made his presence felt what impresses you about what that young man has done here tonight fresh off a 244 yard rushing performance one week ago well I love his knack for just being a football player I mean he plays linebacker on defense he runs like a running back and he just does a great job managing this offense and just like coach Elliott says he has a knack for just finding the open space and running through tackles rushing yardage looks this way let's go back 58 yards and again tough to get things going coach Reardon admitted to me earlier in the week he said look the rushing numbers aren't impressive. That has to change as we continue to grow and develop through the course of the season. So here at halftime, it is Austin Town Fitch 21, Ursland 7. Well, of the third quarter, when we come back, Chad Krispinski and Brian Jones inviting you to stay tuned for more after this. Grab yourself something to drink and come back. The second half is next in the WKBN High School Football Team of the Week.